What's up guys, David here and welcome to another endurance laser video. Today I'm going to show you how I made this really awesome lamp out of just 3mm plywood. So I found this model on Thingiverse and thought it looked absolutely amazing so I knew that I just had to make it. And 3mm plywood is no problem on the 10 watt endurance laser so I gave it a go. So it was quite a lot of uh, lasering and the end results are like almost 150 pieces but once assembled it gives this really beautiful lamp and the shadow that this lamp casts is even more beautiful. So let's jump over to Lightburn to see how I programmed the CNC to cut out these parts. So we are here in Lightburn, my preferred software to use for my CNC laser. And uh, you can see that I have a whole bunch of different stuff going on here. And that's because it's on a whole bunch of different layers. And it's just like to all the different versions that I did for the different sheets of plywood that I'm cutting, I made a separate layer to just keep it a bit more organized. So here's the most recent one where I just have three of the main pieces and one of the base pieces that I didn't even use in the end. But uh, the important thing is, is the settings here. I'm using 170 millimeters a minute, at, of course 100% power, and I will, I'm going in two passes. This just gives me a little bit of a cleaner cut, and I'm also moving down one millimeter in between those two passes, and that just makes sure that the focus point moves down a little bit and gives a cleaner cut. You could also leave that away if you don't have a Z-axis, but since I have one, it's no big deal to add it, and it just slightly improves the cut. In the beginning I was using 180 millimeters, which was just a tiny bit too fast and just those 10 millimeters a minute less uh, made sure that it actually is cutting all the way through and not just almost all the way. So let's go over to the laser and see what I'm doing there. So before I get started with uh, like 3 hour big cutting, I'm gonna first do a quick test if my settings are fine with this 3 millimeter plywood and I put it on already, one of the plywoods. And I'm gonna use this little uh, black painted uh, metal card to set the focus point as it is uh, really easy to see on this. And then we're gonna just do a little test engraving and if that one goes well uh, I'll start a time lapse for the big one. So the test was successful and as you can see it is cutting nicely through it. I do have the problem that the focus point won't always be 100% correctly since the boards are slightly bowed but I think this is gonna work out. So one big issue with these uh, cheap 3mm plywood uh, pieces are that all of them just have a slight bend to them. But I found out a really quite easy fix to that and that is to make sure that you put them on there so that the middle is touching it and uh, it's kind of wobbly on the outside. Then I'm just gonna add some like, tape that is just barely covering it, like just like maybe like three millimeters uh, on top of the wood and then wrap it around the bed and that's gonna hold it down nicely to the to the straight table here and allow me to get the focus point almost perfect for the entire thing. So I've got most of the parts ready here. Uh, as you can see, I broke out uh, the ones here that weren't uh, quite loose. And I also have like the main pieces here. 
Now you can see that some of them have quite a lot of the little pieces still in them. And the problem is that while you cut most of the way through, on some of them it sometimes didn't quite cut all the way through. And that is uh, caused by two things. One is that I probably just went a tiny bit too fast. Uh, on the test it was fine, but I guess uh, it isn't always rep representative. And the other issue is that I only just started using that trick that I just showed you about uh, taping the thing down to make sure that the focus point is correct everywhere. So that there were some parts uh, of the sheet that I lasered that cut all the way through and other parts that were probably slightly out of focus so they didn't quite cut all the way through. I'm right now redoing some of them but uh, some of these are not that bad so I can just uh, break out uh, the remaining ones or use a knife to slide the score in the back and get them out. And uh, the bad ones I'll just probably uh, just re-laser since I have some more wood left over. And after that it's going to be onto the assembly which judging by how many little pieces there are is also going to take quite a while. So I now got all the pieces uh, cut out on the laser and I also already glued in uh, place the connector pieces on one of the sides. So all I have to do now is just put all of these together to form the lamp. So with all the parts finished assembled, I think this lamp looks absolutely amazing. Uh, here is the bottom where the light fixture comes in and you can mount pretty much anything uh, in there. It should be as small as possible though so that you get the most beautiful shadow. For this example I'm just gonna use my flashlight on the phone and once I put it in here this lamp just illuminates and looks so beautifully gorgeous. So if you, if you want to make this lamp as well, make sure to go, to go check out the link to Thingiverse where you can find the model. It is a really nice project, even though it might take a little bit of time, but the end result is absolutely worth it and can transform a room. So thanks for watching and until next time.